now is 21 minutes past seven. There are calls for tougher regulations on social media networks this morning to help stop the spread of so-called fake news. This comes in a leaked report from MPs which suggests users are being manipulated and democracy threatened. Now joining us from our London newsroom is Will Moy, who's the director of the independent fact-checking charity, Full Fact. Thank you very much for talking to us this morning. What do you make of this report? Well, firstly, it is a leaked report, so we don't have an official version. So uh, we look at it with a bit of confusion, um, but let's assume that we know what we're talking about. The first thing to say is this conversation is going on around the world, and the reactions from governments to this, this fear of misinformation and disinformation have been in places quite scary. There is a lot of moves to give governments or courts sweeping powers to control what can be said online in different countries around the world. I would have liked to have seen MPs acknowledge that one of the biggest risks here is actually government overreacting and making sure that we stand proudly on being an open society and valuing free speech and making sure that we're protecting that as well as trying to tackle the kinds of threats we're seeing. OK, well, what about, I mean, I think the thing that's been alluded to is that the public is being manipulated. Yeah. Um, how, do, how do you then get the balance between protecting the public from that but still allowing free speech? Well, one of the things that I think is obviously justified and needs to be done urgently is updating our rules on advertising. We've always had rules on political advertising um, to stop uh, money interfering with your vote. Um, but what's happened is that those rules have become out of date because they don't work online um, in the way that they would have applied to, say, banning um, TV advertising. And so in the last couple of days, we have seen officially a launch of some material got out by this select committee showing what adverts were run by the Vote Leave side during the referendum. We don't have the same information from a stronger insight, but what we are seeing is adverts in very, very targeted uh, ways on very, very targeted topics aimed at particular people. And what I don't think has been adequately realised is that political advertising is about to get much, much more sophisticated. We're talking about adverts that are personalised to you, targeted to very small groups of people, and run at massively massive scale. So in America, according to a leaked Facebook paper um, for Bloomberg reported on, Donald Trump's campaign ran 6.9 million variants of adverts, 6.9 million different adverts during his campaign. If you're doing something like that, we need transparency of what's going on at the very least. And at the moment, the kind of transparency we're hearing about advertising just isn't good enough. It has to be real time. If there's 7 million different adverts being run, it has to be capable of being scrutinised by computers in real time. It doesn't need to be published weeks later, or in this case, years later, after mm. the decisions have been taken. So we need a lot more urgency about political advertising. So, well, technically, how can it be assessed? How can this data, all these advertisements, be assessed in terms of the impact and the influence they have? over people who are seeing them? That's a really good question. The, the real problem here is we don't know what difference these things have made. It's sort of always said of advertising where people who worry about it think it has all the power and the people who do it think it doesn't have any power and they're probably both wrong. Um, so actually this is why I'm worried about overreacting. But what we do know is that it shouldn't be possible for people to target adverts at just one set of voters so that the other sets of voters can't see what's going on and can't react to what's being said in those adverts. Because in a democracy, an election has to be a shared experience. So the level of targeting we're seeing on political advertising and the fact that no one is aware that that's going on during a campaign is just not OK anymore. So the starting point is let's just get it out in the public and then we can scrutinise it. If it turns out that when it becomes transparent we have bigger problems than that, then we're going to have to have a com conversation about whether it's OK to have targeted advertising in that way and whether there should be restrictions on simply what can be advertised online when it comes to politics. It's a fascinating discussion. Um, Will, thank you very much. Will Moy there, Director at Full Fact. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you. 7.26 now.